it's Kirsten from Rare Field Crafts. I have gotten a few requests to show you guys how I made my Marvel pillow. Um, as you can see right here, all I did was take some graph paper and then I just graphed out the image that I wanted. Um, I only made it up to 20, um, 20 blocks because I found that that size works well for my um, standard 16 inch pillows that I used that I use for um, my squares for my pillows um, I'm gonna be showing you Thor's hammer a little bit today I'm not gonna be doing a full tutorial on it only because of all the color changes there is for these um, as you can see right here this is shaded in um, gray but the color that I actually use for this part is black um, but today, right now, I'm just going to show you a little bit of how I do um, the Thor's hammer one. Um, these are the yarns that I use. I got a dusty gray, a burgundy color, a charcoal gray, and a brown, which is called walnut. Now, the brown is the only brunette um, super value yarn that I use for Thor's Hammer. All the other three colors are a Red Heart Super Saver. So let me push those out of the way. Um, um, so for when I do when I do these, I just, as you can see, this is my Pinterest board for Christmas gifts. For gifts that I have made in the past for Christmas for family. Um, as you can see, there is a, an Iron Man head and Thor's hammer. Um, so yeah, I would just type in Marvel um, pillows and sometimes these will show up. You just gotta search for it. But we're gonna go ahead and click on that. And you can see that right there. Now, in this one right here, there is, um, I believe there's 20 going across as well. It's a 20 by 20. So all I do, all I did was just basically copy that onto a graph paper so that way I can mark it off as I go. So, and I did the exact same thing. So if I go back here, as you can see, today is December 2nd. But if you can, if I go back, you can see I have the, the Iron Man head right next to it, and it is also a 20 by 20. And I did the exact same thing for this one. I just copied this onto graph paper. Um, now the background on this one is white, um, but I felt that black suited better with my Thor's hammer one. So I did black as the background for this one, which is why I will not be doing or showing you guys how to start it off. Only because it's so much harder to sh um, see with black yarn. So, let's go ahead. Um, for this pod, for this um, pillow, I am using a size I. Now this hook right here says a 5.25, but it is the same thing as a 5.5. Um, you will also need um, a pair of scissors, which I don't have right here right now, but that's behind, besides, this, besides the... Um, you will also um, need a, a pillow insert, which for mine um, is a 20 by 20, or not 20, sorry, it's a 16 by 16 um, inch pillow insert. Um, yeah, so we're going to start off with the burgundy for the background of um, the Iron Man's on the other side of my Iron Man um, side of the cushion. Uh, so I'm just going to start off by making my slip knot. Now for this pillow, because um, I did one before, um, instead of doing a standard double crochet corner to corner, I decided to do half double crochet uh, only because I found that um, when I'm finished, the spaces between each block is not very big. The gap is a lot smaller, and it just it 
looks a lot better. So for me to start off, I chain up five. So that's one, two, three, four, and five. And in the third chain from the hook, so I turn it and I work into the back humps. Sorry, yeah, in the third chain from the hook, I'm gonna in I'm gonna make a half double crochet. So I'm gonna yarn over. I don't know if y'all can see this very well. I'm gonna make a half double crochet into that back loop. And yarn over, insert my hook, yarn over and grab my yarn. Yarn over and pull through all three loops to make my first half double crochet. And I'm gonna do that in the remaining two stitches. Make one half double crochet in each of those. Come on. This last one's always the hardest because it is the first chain that we make. Final half double crochet. So there is our first block. So to make the second one, we are going to again chain up five. Three, that's two, three, four, and five. We're going to make one half double crochet in that third chain from our hook. So just like so, and we're going to make one in the next one, and in that last chain we are going to make our last half double crochet. So we made our second block. So to connect these, we're going to turn our block, our first block upwards into that chain two in the last, that block, we're going to insert our hook yarn over and slip stitch. So that was our us connecting it and then we're just going to chain up two, make three half double crochets into this corner. Sorry about that. I got more yarn guys. Let's one, two, and Three. So that chain two does not count as a stitch. It, all it is is the turning chain where we're just going to connect each block to. So as you can see, we have our first two rows done on our pattern right here. So this way that we have it right here, this is our wrong side. So if we flip it back this way, this is our right side because we are working in this corner right here. So what I like to do as well, which I don't have one right next to me right now, but so the way I know which direction I am going, I like to mark each block. There you go. I like to mark each block with an arrow um, showing which way um, I am going. And so that way I also know which block I'm actually on and which row I am on. So since we started right here and we're going up, going up this way, and then in row two, we're going down, and then row three, we're gonna be going up. So I'm gonna go ahead and do row three, so it's gonna be one, two, three blocks, and then I will meet back up with the guys and show you how to I add color and change color for my corner to corner um, cushions. So actually, I just wanted to show you guys how I start the new row, actually. It's the same thing that we did for the last one. We're gonna chain up five, 
one, two, three, four, and five. And in that third one, third chain, we're gonna make a half double crochet in there. And in the next one, and the next. Oops, try that again. Just like that. And then we're just gonna flip and turn. So now we're working on the right side and we're just going to slip stitch to the next block right there. And then chain two, half double crochet three times. It's three. And then over this block right here, so right here in this little chain two space, I'm gonna slip stitch into chain two and make three half double crochets. Okay. So as of right now, it looks like the gaps between each block are kind of big, but once you keep working, those won't be as noticeable. All right, so I went and grabbed a pen so I can just mark off the rows that I have done. And all I'm doing is just putting a little arrow right there in there. And then on the, this one, downwards arrow, and then upwards arrow. So those are the three rows that we have done so far. So next one, we're gonna be working in the downward way. And then we're, we will be changing color to our brown color. So grab a little bit of yarn. Okay. So to start the new row, we're gonna chain five. make a half double crochet in each of those three chains. Right there. We're gonna flip our work up and instead of slip stitching with our burgundy color, we're actually going to slip stitch with our brown color. So we're gonna take our brown yarn, insert our hook, take the brown yarn, and pull it through. And we have just slip stitched, and then we're just gonna chain two, and then let I will make, oops, that's a double crochet. We want a half double crochet. Make my three half double crochets. So there you go. Got one. And as you can see right here, we just have one block that is a half double crochet. Mark that one off. And then we have two more reds. So what I like to do is I will either carry the yarn, actually I'm gonna pull that forward because this is the wrong side. I would like, to, sometimes I will carry my yarn through my project or I will use um, bobbins for or all of the different color changes. Um, I don't have any fancy bobbins, but I do have a bunch of these wooden um, clothespins. So what I do, or what I did for my last pillow that I did, I just wrapped a bunch of yarn around it because once we get to like this part, we're gonna have red on each side and sometimes it might be a little weird, or even right here, it would be a little weird to have, um, you know, that red kind of carrying through. Um, so instead of doing that, you can always have bobbins on each side with, with red, so you'll have two bobbins. And then the same up here when we 
get to the dark gray color. And even for your other one, I use bobbins all the time, um, especially for like the, the, the edges and then the inner parts. It just makes it a lot easier for carrying yarn, um, less ends to sew in at the end. Um, but yeah, that is basically how I make my corner to corner pillows. Um, if any of you guys have any further questions, please let me know. Um, I will be um, posting updates um, throughout Vlogmas of projects that I am working on. So if you would like to see how these two squares are coming along, please make sure you follow and watch um, my upcoming Vlogmas videos. And um, if you have any other questions really just comment down below all right guys um i will talk to you all later have a great day everyone bye